Yo, yo, yo. What's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, make sure you check out my all new album, It's My Turn, The Throne Ascension LP, the deluxe edition. Just put that out about a month ago. You can, it's got, it includes three extra bonus tracks, and it can be found literally everywhere music is found, including places like iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, Tidal, big shout out to Tidal, you know, places like that, you know. I know y'all fuck with at least one of those motherfucking companies, so go ahead, check my shit out, you know what I mean, enjoy it, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Also, if you fuck with me the long way, make sure you go hit up hustlegameballs.com forward slash shop and get your official Supreme General merchandise today. It's nothing but fly shit on there, you know what I mean? And fuck with me the long way. I really appreciate you, you know what I mean? That's real, all the way around. With that being said, let's go into this video. This video right here is regarding my man, the upcoming fight announced by the PBC featuring my man, Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Versus another man, Willie Monroe Jr. from the Rock Town, man. That's not too far away from me. You know what I mean? Big shout out to my man, Willie Monroe Jr. He got it out the mud. And um, given the recent steroid test that the boy Billy Joe Saunders just failed, um, that really put into perspective all of the shit that just went down with my man Willie, because Willie was really looking outclassed in that fight, man, it was really disappointing to see his performance in that fight, where at least, you know, once, when I thought they were on the even playing field, I was really disappointed with his performance, but, you know, now that I see that <laughs> Billy was fucking juicing like a motherfucker, I, I gotta give my man, I gotta revisit that fight and look at it from, you know, with different eyes, so, with that being said, I gotta give my man Willie a lot of credit for staying in there, you know what I'm saying, with it, hanging with a guy that was totally juiced up, you know what I mean, of course you're gonna look like that against the guy who's fucking juiced to the gills <laughs> fighting you, you know what I mean, I don't got, I don't really got too much respect for that juice and shit, you know what I mean, when it, when it makes you look that good, you know, so... It is what it is. I ain't hating on nobody, but it is what it is. And motherfucker got caught. And with the levels he got caught with that time was crazy. So I can only imagine what he was doing when he didn't get caught. You know, so it is what it is. But that's still an L on my man Willie Monroe resume. You know, that's on his ledger. It's something that can't be erased. But it's an L that I don't that I'm going to give him a pass on, you know what I'm saying, before I would have said, you know, just my man Jamal just about to wash this boy, you know what I'm saying, but given the fact that Billy Joe was fucking juiced the fuck up, and this guy still hung in there with him as much as he did, man, it makes the fight, it makes it, it, um, it makes you understand that Monroe was very courageous in that fight, so big shout out to Willie Monroe, you know, shout out to you, G, so, and it doesn't change my prediction for this fight too much, but it does uh, put in perspective your chances in this fight. So, assuming everything is on the up and up and then everybody on the even playing field, which I expect 100% with these guys, I want to say that um, I picked Jamal Charlo by maybe late stoppage. Maybe late stoppage. But if he don't get the stoppage, I could see Willie Monroe pulling out either um, a close decision or... Or maybe like a draw. I can I could see that. I could just see that. I mean, cause um Charlo sometimes sometimes he can be outboxed. You know, what I mean, I don't know if he'd be taking rounds off or whether, you know, his time is suffer for whatever reason, you know, but it just looked to me like I mean, I don't know, for some reason certain boxers can not necessarily get off on him. Like J Rock wasn't getting off. I mean, J Rock was doing his thing, you know. With minus the knockdowns, J Rock wasn't looking too bad. You know, so I mean, but that that just shows you that that can happen. You know, I, I, I it probably was a big part of uh, Charlo game plan to knock out J-Rock, though. So you never know if he was just letting him get off like that. But if I'm if I was game plan for my man, Willie Monroe, I'll be looking at it like, yo, like, um, he got off. At, you know, what I mean, I would just be looking at those tactics, whatever it was, be it footwork or whatever it was that, um. J-Rock was employing because, I mean, I haven't seen that fight in a minute, man. I had to go watch that shit. But uh, we got to go check it out again, I should say. You know what I mean? I should make it seem like I, that's the first time I've seen this shit. It's not. But um, 
I'm going to have to go revisit that fight and see what it was that J-Rock was doing that was making him successful. But no matter what it was that he was doing as far as boxing ability goes, I believe Willie Monroe can do it. So, you know what I mean? With that being said, Willie has a chance in this fight, man. But Charlo got that power. You know what I'm saying? And that nasty uppercut, man. I believe Willie is susceptible to uppercuts like a motherfucker and the kind of uppercut that my man um charlo throw is devastating so you know what i mean <laughs> that, that shit could break you break could break your back you know what i mean i want some g shit so you know you fuck around and get caught you know and willie can get lazy in certain rounds you know what i'm saying not necessarily late i, I don't want to make it seem like lazy per se but as far as his stop jabbing type shit you know what i mean be too defensive and once you too defensive against a guy like charlo he's gonna take advantage of it and he's gonna start landing shots this is charlo we talking about here and when he do land this shit is gonna hurt and you don't want to fuck around and catch one of them shots you don't see and get knocked out and that's what i think charlo's really good at that's how he stopped j-rock and that's how you probably stop willie monroe jr you know what i'm saying i hate to say it but it is what it is my man willie monroe you know what i mean i fuck with you g and you do have a chance to win this fight a good chance actually if you stay on your toes stay away from them, his pop and, and be on alert be on 100 percent alert the entire fight you can definitely pull out pull out the victory you know what I'm saying? On the cars. I don't, I don't see Willie Monroe being able to stop Charlo at all. I mean, shit can, anything can happen. This is boxing. But I don't I don't see uh, Willie Monroe being able to stop Charlo. But I definitely can see him winning the fight on the cars. So, big shout out to Willie, man. You got a chance, man. But my official prediction is going to be Jamal Charlo by stoppage. You know what I mean? And with that being said, I'm on to the next one, man. Holla at me. I'm out. 100.